Hi STEM students, my name is Miss Asher and this is lesson three of unit two in your writing journal. So for today's activity, we are going to keep working with complete sentences, but this time, instead of editing sentences that are already written, we are going to be writing our own sentences. So before we get started doing that, I wanted to keep reviewing these uh, rules of punctuation and capitalization. And I know that this might be getting repetitive now, I did it in the last two videos, but the reason that I'm emphasizing it is because it is really so important. It is the foundation of good writing, uh, and it's going to help you guys if you know these backwards and forwards, like uh, know them by heart. So let's go through our rules for capitalization first. So we always capitalize the first letter of our first word of a sentence. Always, always, always. But we also have some extra rules of times when we're going to capitalize words when they're not the first letter of a sentence. But just any time they're in a sentence, these types of words are going to get a capitalized first letter. So the first type is names. We're always, always, always going to capitalize names, whether it's your name or somebody else's name or an animal's name. Anytime somebody has a name, they're going to get a capital letter. Uh, for example, this is my cat Mira here, and anytime I'm writing about Miss Mira, she's going to get a capital M for Mira. Uh, I am Miss Asher, and so you always capitalize the M in Miss and the A in Asher. Uh, you also always capitalize the first name, of, or the first letter of a last name as well, and a middle name. Any name gets a capital letter at the beginning. So, the next rule we're going to look at is uh, months of the year are always going to be capitalized. I'm born in March, my birthday is in March, so if I was writing that in a sentence, I'm going to put a capital M for March every time I write that. Uh, we also capitalize holidays, so we capitalize Halloween is going to have a capital H, and Christmas is going to have a capital C, and Hanukkah is going to have a capital H. So remember that when you're writing about uh, when you're writing about holidays or days of the week or also months, those all get capital letters. We are also all, also going to capitalize places. So if you live in New Orleans, that's a capital N and a capital O for New Orleans. If you live in Jefferson Parish, that's a capital J and a capital P because Jefferson Parish is a proper noun, that's the name. So we would also capitalize if we were going to McDonald's, that's a capital M, uh, capital M for McDonald's. If we're going to Disney World, that's a capital D for Disney and a capital W for World because that's two words and you capitalize both uh, the first letter of both words when a name is two words instead of one. So. The last thing I want to review before we get started is our punctuation. So remember that at the end of every sentence we put punctuation, and that is to let the reader know that that sentence is over and that if they're reading they need to take a pause, just like I did there. Uh, so you take a pause every time you get to the end of a sentence and you know to do that by the punctuation. You have different types of punctuation that tell you how you're supposed to say the sentence. So for a question, we, do you know what type of punctuation you use at a question? A question mark, and I just made a question there to, to test you guys. So every time you are, are writing a question or you're saying a question, that has a question mark at the end. You have an exclamation point. If you are really excited, say, it's my birthday, or I am so mad at you. You put an exclamation point to let someone know that you are talking with some extra energy in your voice. So either something that's exciting or something that's scary or just needs some extra emphasis gets an exclamation point. Uh, and last but not least, we have our period, which is if you're not yelling something and you're not asking a question, you're probably going to use a period for everything else. So if you're just telling something, if you say, my name is Miss Ash, period. I am a student, period. I like writing, period. So those are some examples of how to use punctuation. Uh, and so now, instead of editing your own sentences, 
uh, or instead of editing somebody else's sentences, you are going to be writing your own. So remember all those rules that we just went over. Remember that we want to capitalize the first letter uh, and put punctuation at the end, just like when you were editing sentences, just like you added to those. And make sure that all of your sentences are complete thoughts. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some examples of some sentences that I wrote so that you can get some more exposure to what a complete sentence looks like. So these are complete thoughts. They all have a verb, which is an action word, and a subject, which is the person that is doing the verb or that the verb is happening to. So let's look at this first one. It says, can we go to City Park? And look, you'll see I put a capital C because it's the first word of the sentence and a question mark because if a sentence starts with can, it's probably going to be a question because that sounds like a question word. So you'll notice one more thing about this sentence. I capitalized city park and that's because it is a specific park. You'll remember from our last example, if it just said, can we go to the park, you wouldn't capitalize it because it's not talking about a specific place with a specific name. But because we are talking about City Park, which is a specific park with a name, we're going to capitalize both the C in City and the P in Park. All right, so let's look at our next sentence. So this one says, help, I'm stuck. And you know that you're supposed to put that uh, extra emphasis. You're supposed to sound a little scared about it because it's got this exclamation point, which means that it's a little bit uh, more excitement in your voice, so it, maybe it's a little scary because you're stuck, so help, I'm stuck. Uh, and you'll notice that I also capitalize the I in M because I'm is a contraction for I am, which has I in it. And remember that when we have I as in me, myself, and I, we always capitalize that, even if it's in a, in a contraction and not technically by itself, it still it means the same thing, that we have I, me, myself, and I always capitalized. Uh, so let's look at our next sentence. It says, I was here last Tuesday, period. So again, we're capitalizing that I because it's the first letter of our sentence. And it's also the me, myself, and I first person pronoun I always gets capitalized. Uh, you'll also notice that I capitalized the T in Tuesday. And do you know why that is? It's because Tuesday is a day of the week, and that is one of those special capitalization rules that days and months always get capitalized. So Tuesday is a day of the week, so we're capitalizing it even though it's the very last word of that sentence. The next one says, how do you know Alex? Question mark. And again, we put our capital H, we put a question mark because it's a question, and you know it's a question because it starts with how. Usually, if something starts with who, what, when, where, why, uh, how, those are all question words, so it's a good indication that we're going to put a question mark at the end of our sentence. Now, you'll notice I also capitalized the last word of this sentence, and that's because it says Alex, which is a name. And if you remember, that's one of our special capitalization rules, is that names always get a capital letter. So, how do you know Alex? Question mark. With a capital A for Alex. And we've got one more sentence. This one says, we live in New Orleans. And you'll see that besides capitalizing my first letter, I also capitalized both the N in New and the O in Orleans because New Orleans is a proper noun. That's a place. It's a specific place. And so we capitalize both the first letter in both of those words. Same thing if we were talking about uh, Jefferson Parish, the J and the P, Jefferson and Parish, both get capitalized because that's two separate words that are the name of a place. So again, New Orleans gets a capital N and a capital O because it is a proper noun uh, and we show that by capitalizing. All right, so there, those were my example sentences and I hope that uh, that was a good exercise for you to review uh, your capitalization and punctuation rules for complete sentences. And I hope that you feel prepared to go and write your own sentences. 
Uh, and remember that we're trying to practice with different types of sentences. So you can make some of them questions and some of them need to be exciting with exclamation points. So you're going to be writing 10 sentences. So you have a lot of space to practice. Maybe you could do some where you use some proper nouns, like some names or some days of the week. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you guys get some good practice. Uh, and make sure you're writing a variety of different sentences so that you are prepared for everything that comes your way when you're writing in the future. So I will see you guys next lesson and good luck with this activity. Bye.